And one of the things that we were looking for is we were looking for what could we do as the English department at the University of Houston to make our mark, as it were, in the larger academic community. And Terrell Dixon, who was the uh, director of graduate studies, and I sat down and we were just brainstorming one afternoon and came up with the idea, well, why don't we look into creative writing then? And so Terrell went off and he did a lot of research into uh, what uh, creative writing programs existed at that time, especially in the southern belt of the United States. And come to find out, there really wasn't a whole lot. There were some programs, but they were not particularly distinguished uh, in general. And uh, there was no doctoral program at that time. And so we began to think more and more along the lines of establishing a doctoral program in literature and creative writing. And Terrell was very, very keen and very, very firm on the idea that there be a very strong literature component in the creative writing uh, PhD in literature as well as in creative writing. But they were going to be going to probably small community colleges uh, or branches of large universities, uh, small liberal arts colleges perhaps. And uh, in those institutions, they would naturally be expected to do more than the teaching of creative writing alone but would be expected to teach courses in American literature or English literature, or similar kinds of activities. And so they needed to have and would benefit in terms of getting jobs later on from a strong literature component to their degree programs. So Helen made the point after she had met with us uh, quite a number of times here in Houston that uh, what we really needed to do was to establish a kind of niche where we could excel at something uh, rather than trying to be, you know, great in, you know, 15 different areas. Why not choose one in particular and put our, uh, our resources into that, which would be not only hiring faculty, but also developing program. that we had an opening for a senior creative writer. And the dean agreed with this. And so we brought in Cynthia McDonald to be a consultant to us because we didn't know anything about establishing creative writing programs. None of us had been in creative writing programs, much less none of us had uh, taught in any of such programs. And uh, so Cynthia was absolutely invaluable in advising us on what kinds of things to do. And then I called for a meeting out of town. We all went down to Galveston, and it was me and uh, two former uh, directors of graduate studies, David Judkins and Bill Wright, along with the current director of graduate studies, Terrell Dixon, and myself. And we sequestered ourselves in a, uh, in a uh, what shall I say, a borrowed apartment uh, down in Galveston for a long weekend. And during that long weekend, we actually drafted the outline of what came to be the program in creative writing. And uh, then, of course, we had a number of blanks and we had uh, an opportunity after that meeting to uh, meet with uh, Cynthia McDonald. And by that time, she had brought in Stanley Plumley, And uh, they were helpful in having us uh, fill in the blanks. You know, what, what had we not thought of? What should be there that, uh, that had not yet uh, appeared in the, uh, in the outline of the program? And so this was a genuinely collaborative effort. 